Hey, it's Mark. Welcome back to Single Car Garage. Let me tell you what we've been working on uh, for the last uh, couple of days and uh, show you what I've got done. Uh, hold on a second. If you'll remember, uh, these uh, lights were Frenched in. And they were pretty deep. And, and, and I didn't like them. Um, you know, they, they set way back like that in the fender. Also, they were not put in correctly. And I think I showed you all that in a, another video. So, I didn't like them Frenched in so deep. And a couple of options. Uh, I was going to metal this hole in and put 1940 uh, tail lights in it. Um, I was going to metal this hole up and move some tail lights over to here. <clears throat> uh, once I got it cut out, and once I took this pocket out, this pocket you can order from Speedway. Uh, I was going to order new ones. Uh, they were on back order, so I decided I would use these and as you can tell i got a little bit more work to do uh, there's where the screws go in i've got to come back in there um, and uh, fix it to where i can screw it down but i cut the uh a lot of the lip off the uh, bucket and what i did was bring it up flush as you've seen it before i took this off uh, where it kind of matches the angle of the fender, but still French just a little bit. Now the reason it's French a little bit is because this bucket, when this was cut out, it was cut out um, bigger than that bucket and they had, what they did was take a couple little pieces of fiberglass and stick it here, here, up top, at the bottom, and they used a metal support to hold it in. Um, they didn't do a great job, plus it had that small crack right here. So I tore this out, cut that bucket down where it would be flush with the fender, and then reinstalled it. Now what I <clears throat> what I used to uh, install that is this metal reinforced filler. And it's kind of like JB Weld, only a little bit easier to deal with. You can actually tap this and... Uh, put bolts and stuff in it and it does I've worked uh, especially with some interior and plastics I've used this and it works well uh, so this is something uh, that you can use the other thing I use this for is anytime I do any welding and I've got to do a little bit of uh, body work over that welding what I do is uh, use this my dog's tail hit that uh, camera stand about to, knock, about to knock camera over, I think. Uh, but I love this stuff. It's expensive. But uh, when it comes to uh, going over welds, I really like it. Because it actually, not that it needs it, it adds some more reinforcement. And I use it any time where I feel like I need reinforcement uh, more than Bondo. This is a resin-based filler. Uh, so it uses a hardener, but it's like fiberglass. Uh, it will not hold water. One of the things I've always had against Bondo is uh, it will hold moisture. So sooner or later, um, if it's not painted over and kept sealed, moisture will seep through the uh, Bondo and get down to the metal. Like if you have a scratch or if you're just running a car under primer. So it always needs to be under a sealer or some kind of paint. But again, it's what I used. So what I did, I ground this until what was holding the bucket in was gone. Um, pulled out that bucket, shaved it off the, on the correct angle that I wanted. I cleaned up underneath this fender real good. And I cleaned these buckets up. They were terrible. They were full of fiberglass and a whole lot of stuff. It, it just doesn't make any sense. So clean this bucket up. Put it up here and matched it up where I wanted it. Held it in place. And then the first thing I did is I went under it. And I took about four dabs of this and I fastened it here, here, top and bottom. 
sort of like they did with the fiberglass. It takes this stuff a while to dry, so I let it dry down and harden up to where this was good and in there good. Then I came back and I ran a bead all the way around where it would be connecting to the fender. Then I came up here and I ran some to smooth it out. Let it harden, uh, shaped it, cleaned up all this, and uh, then last, I did take a little bit of Bondo after that just to do a little bit more shaping. And I call this rubbed, roughed in, uh, not quite finished. Uh, there's a little bitty nick right there you can barely, barely see. And there's a little bitty nick right there you can barely see. And I want to clean, I've been I actually been doing a little bit of work on this inside this morning uh, to get it where I want it uh, because it was built up some. Uh, don't know why. So. That's how I did that. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. There's the finished side. Actually, they're both finished. I just tucked this side out for you all to see. But I'm pretty happy with it. My big thing right now is I've got to find some kind of filler neck for this to uh, fit into. And uh, I haven't figured it out. Uh, I can get a seal for this. But it's it uh, it's not shaped right, and um, it won't bend over around that. So I haven't come up with a solution on this yet, but I'm still working on that. So that's what I've been working on on the uh, 36. Uh, you know, car show season's coming up first of April around here in Tennessee, and I really want to have this car in good shape. I'm not going to have everything done. I want to have done. But I want to have this done. Uh, I want to paint, repaint the hood, but that's probably not going to happen. I was thinking about leaving this until I got ready to repaint the hood. But I just don't think the hood's going to get painted uh, before spring. So uh, I'm probably going to come back in and fix this. And then do, I wanna, I've got a little bit more interior work to do. I'd like to before a car show season. And I've got just a little bit more cleanup stuff I want to do underneath. I'm not trying to make it perfect. Uh, plus, I've got to take both these fenders off. I've got to put the seals in between them. And then I've got a place right here I've got to grind down and fix. Again, poor workmanship. Uh, poor workmanship or they didn't put that seal in there and it's actually broke uh, some repairs that they did. But I want to go back in there and fix that. So hopefully I have majority of that done because I'm planning on taking this and, and driving it quite a bit this summer because I'm also planning on somebody taking it off my hands. Uh, always wanted one of these after owning an old coupe. Boy, it just ain't my cup of tea. I mean, they ride a little bit of rough because they're short wheel based. Uh, this one has rack and pinion. It drives good uh, and handles pretty good on the road, actually. Uh, but I don't like the rear end setup in this. I wish they had a coilover setup, and I've looked at the price of them. I think if I put it in there, I, you know, I might break even on it if I put it in there. It's about a $5,000 investment, so I just don't feel like I'm going to do that unless I run across something. If I kept the car, it would cost me about $16,000 because there's a custom frame I want to buy for it, uh, for me to own it. And I, I just don't, uh, <coughs> excuse me don't feel like it's quite uh, worth that so but hope to enjoy it some uh it's been fun working on it but uh i want to focus back on my 66 buick i want to get that done and running uh, this year and i want to get my 56 studebaker uh in the body shop and that's probably a year project in the body shop and um you know i actually came up with a plan today i'm going to put my daughter in charge of the mechanics of the car and I'm going to take over the body and hopefully we can finish it off at the same time. But uh, hopefully, I mean that thing, we're talking about putting it in the shop come this fall uh, with all the other stuff we got going on around here. So that's what I've done to the uh, 36. Um, I appreciate you all stopping by and looking at the finished project. And uh, when I get it painted on one of these videos, I'll show you because all I'm going to do is cut it in. Uh, but I've got, uh, like I said, i got to take the fenders off and all that. So I'm not worried about doing anything until I get that done. 
uh, they did a poor job of putting the, the bolts are coming loose on these fenders. So I want to take them off, clean up everything, uh, paint it, get it looking good, which it looks pretty good underneath those fenders already. And then I will uh, put them back on. And I'll put that gasket material or whatever you want to call it, that binding in between the, the two fenders like they belong. And then we'll go from there. So, uh, hey, I'm uh, fairly excited to get this done. So this means, you know, once I get these fenders off and back on, I can get my lights back in it and I can start driving it again. And I'm hoping that's by the first of March, second week of March. Uh, I'd like to drive it a little bit. And then come April, I mean, there's a car show almost every weekend or a cruising almost every weekend. And I'll be taking this uh, to a lot of them. So, hey. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you like what uh, finished up on it. And uh, like I said, when the 100% finished product's there, I'll show it on a video. Thanks for coming by. Hey, come back and see me sometime.